Hi, I'm Anand. I'm a GPT-6 bot. No, seriously, I'm one of the co-founders of Bitto, and we are excited for you to try out Bitto's AI to help you be the best you can be, or at least save a couple of hours a day. Join over 100,000 developers who are using Bitto today. We believe Bitto can be a superpower that can help you do so many things like write code, explain code, generate comments, and the list goes on. Bitto is a platform that can help you in three major ways. Bitto supports intelligent AI agents that can allow you to automatically generate documentation, generate unit test cases, and coming soon, code reviews also for your pull request and merge requests. Bitto also supports AI code completions, wherein we are using Google's Palm 2 model, which is a 540 billion parameter model, as compared to OpenAI and other models out there, to provide better code completions using not only the newest model, but also AI that understands your code. AI chat is also available in IDE that understands your code, templates which basically provide significant prompt engineering, also advanced models such as GPT-4 and Anthropic Scholarly 2, and a diff view to compare changes whenever code changes are suggested. Let's quickly show you how Bitto's intelligent AI agents work. Bitto's AI agents are uh, open source and available on Bitto's GitHub repository uh, under the project AI automation. Uh, you can you know, clone it and start using it directly. Here I have already cloned the AI automation repository. So let me go to AI automation and I'll go over documentation agents. And in documentation agents, I'll go over create overview doc agent. Uh, this particular agent creates an overview documentation for code in a specific folder, giving you the overview of what the code in that specific folder does, a complete high level overview along with diagrams. So let's quickly see how it works. Let me go to this particular folder. Uh, let me first check out an open source project, which is Spotify gesture control and run documentation on it. So let me clone this project. I've cloned it. Uh, it's available here. Spotify gesture control. Let me copy this. Okay. And running the documentation agent is very simple. Just run create doc and give it the folder path of the folder, which contains the code that you want to document and press enter. As you can see, Bitto has started generating documentation for the code in this particular folder. As you can see, Bitto automation agent for creating the overview document uh, has completed processing. Let's quickly look at how the document looks like. So let me open this in, you know, Visual Studio Code, another window. Here is the high level document that is created. As you can see, Bitto has created a introduction section, which basically provides you a high level overview of all the code in this particular folder. The system is a gesture recognition program designed to control Spotify using hand gestures. It figured this out automatically by looking at the code. You will also see diagrams created by the Bitto uh, overview doc agent. Uh, these diagrams are created using mermaid markdowns, which are then later on converted to SVG image files, uh, which are included in the markdown document that is generated uh, for uh, the code folder that you have provided. And after the high level overview, it actually goes through each and every module and explains that particular module in detail with critical functions, key variables, as well as a flow diagram. There you go. You can create documents automatically using Bitto's uh, AI agents. Uh, and this one is the documentation agent. Bitto also provides AI code completions where Bitto completes code as you type using AI that understands your code to make suggestions more relevant. Let's quickly show you how it works. Here, I'm trying to implement summarize.py, uh, wherein I'd like to summarize the diff file by printing lines added or removed. So rather than actually implementing the code, let me first start by writing the comment for what I want to do and hit enter. You can see the three dots out there. So Bitto is busy at work trying to get you suggestions for the code based on the comment that you have basically uh, typed uh, to solve for that particular purpose. And it has given you, you know, multiple options that you can actually go through and select the one that, you know, 
you'd like to use. So for example, this is one of the options. This is the other option. You know, let me actually pick the first one out here and just hit accept, right? Now out here, uh, let's see whether this particular piece of code runs. So let me actually save this file. Let me open a new terminal out here. Uh, let me do a git diff and store the output in x.out and then let me run python with summarize shift over the minus f x dot out and it provided me that two lines were added and two lines were removed let's just see x dot out to confirm whether everything is working fine right. so you know so this is there which is great now the code works and say that you know I want to basically also print the file name uh, which is provided as the input right so here let me actually say print and you know here as you can see Bito is basically providing me options or suggestions for line completion so here as a print it provided me one of the options which is the args.file that's exactly what I wanted to kind of print I hit tab and I accept it so now Pito also completes the line as you're typing and obviously you can select whether you want to use it or not or reject the suggestions provided by Pito now let's quickly save this uh, and try to basically run summarize Dot py it actually printed x dot out and then lines added or removed. Here you go. Uh, Bito also completes code based on the comments that you've typed in, in your file as well as when you're typing the line, provide you suggestions to complete the line. Bito understands your code, so I can ask Bito any questions related to my code. Here I've opened my POC project and I have a file dt emailsend.sh. Let's ask Bito what it does. In my code, what does dt email send dot sh do? As you can see, Bito went through the code and is providing you explanation on what this specific script does. This is very helpful to understand what the existing code does if you want to make modifications to it. Now, talking about modifications. Let's take an example wherein I would like to add a column description to table raw keyword data, which is existing in my code. And I want to figure out all the changes that are required to make it work end to end. So I can say list all the files that need changes to add column description in table raw keyword data in my code along with the code changes needed. Here, Bito will go through your code and identify you know, where all the changes are required and also list the changes that you need to do. As you can see, Bito is providing you the list of changes. Obviously, one of the changes adding raw keyword, uh, you know, the column description to raw keyword data, which is here. It also identified that this particular table is used in two other files. One is a PHP file, as well as a shell script, wherein you need to go and make changes to add column description. So it's giving you the list of changes required to make it work end to end. You can also click on these links to actually open the files to see where you need to make changes. Bito also provides a lot of shortcuts where we have tested out the best way to get you answers to things like explain code, generate comments, check for performance, and so on. Let's quickly show you how it works. To access shortcuts, you can actually select any piece of code, for example, here, and you can right click to access the shortcuts via context menu, which is under Bito AI. You can click on these options or select to use the keyboard shortcuts. You can also access these shortcuts via the template button in the Bito panel. When you click on it, you'll see all the shortcuts and you can pick any one that you want to use. Let's quickly see how to use clean code. 
clean code uh, removes the debug statements from the code as well as comments. And as you can see, Bitto actually provided the code after cleaning it up and opening it up in depth view so that you can select what you want to keep uh, when you are basically making code modifications. You can also access these shortcuts by typing slash in your Bitto panel and it will open up the templates uh, or shortcuts out here for your selection. You can also create your own templates or shortcuts by clicking on this new template button. Now let me actually create a shortcut to explain code in Spanish. I've just created a template. Let me actually go. This code is already selected. Let me type slash and click on explain code in Spanish. There you go. It's basically explaining the code in Spanish out here. In Bitto, all the conversations that you're having with Bitto uh, is maintained in a session and these sessions can be accessed via history. So if you go to history, it will show you the current active session as active, and you can go to any past conversations that you had with Bitto. Uh, let me go and click on this one. And you know I can go back to the previous session that I was at by clicking on that particular session. So you can quickly get to things that you want to do. For those who would like to use uh, Bitto on command line rather than an IDE, Bitto is also available via CLI. Uh, let's quickly show you uh, where to download it from. So it's available on GitHub, uh, Git Bitto CLI. You can download the CLI and install it from GitHub directly or from Brew also on Mac. Uh, let's quickly show you how it works. So in the terminal, uh, if you have installed Bitto, you can run Bitto in interactive mode just by typing the Bitto command, which is Bitto. And you can ask Bitto any freeform question as you do in the uh, panel, Bitto panel in IDE. So let's ask uh, it to give arc CLI to some last column in a CSV file. And Bitto takes multi-line input, so you know you have to press Control D to let it know that you know your input of question is done, and then Bitto will basically process your request. So as you can see. It's providing you the command that you can run along with the explanation for the same. To quit out of the interactive mode, just type quit and then press Ctrl D and you're out of the Bitto's interactive mode. You can also run Bitto in non-interactive mode for any kind of automation. Right. Uh, here I've created a simple prompt file, which is create doc.txt wherein I'm saying generate documentation for code in markdown format. As simple as that. Uh, and I can actually use this prompt to generate documentation for any specific code file by running Bitto with minus P option, P means prompt file, right? Or instructions that you want to run. And then minus F followed by the file on which you want to run this particular instruction or prompt on. And here I have summarize.py, which is a Python file, and say that I want to create documentation for it. So bitto minus p create dot dot txt, which is the prompt, minus f summarize.py, which is the file on which you want to run or create a doc for. As you can see, uh, bitto is generating the documentation in markdown format as uh, mentioned in the prompt file, which is create doc dot txt. You can redirect this output to a particular file which is like readme.md and your documentation is completely ready. There you go. You can also do cat summarize.py and type it to bitto minus p create doc.txt and the result will be the same. You know, what it does is takes summarize.py as the input provides it to bitto with the prompt create doc.txt. So this provides an ability for developers as well as DevOps to automate whatever they want to using the power of LLM via Bitto CLI.
Bitter today is available on your favorite IDEs, which is Visual Studio Code, as well as JetBrains IDEs like IntelliJ, PyCharm, PHP Storm, and others, as well as CLI. Hope you enjoy. Thanks.